Hey students, it's Dr. Park. Some of you who have studied with me notice I talk about a bojo a lot during our lessons, right? I have one YouTube video about a bojo, but I feel like further explanation is necessary. You see, a bojo is a rather complex technique, which includes breath management as well as resonance. So I'm making a series of Apojo lecture videos to help you understand the full parameter of Apojo technique as much as possible before you come to your lesson. All right, let's start right off the bat. Okay, so. Apojo is a breathing technique which the bel canto school put a great deal of emphasis on. Wait, did I say bel canto? Yes. Bel canto is the great Italian vocal pedagogy tradition of solo singing which spans over five centuries. As a matter of fact, the Italian invented singing as we know it. Most of the important vocal techniques that we learn during our lessons are the practice and theory of bel canto tradition. There is a very famous saying, Chisara respirare sa cantare, which means he who knows how to breathe knows how to sing. This shows how important a bojo is in bel canto. When teachers um, of bel canto tradition gave singing lessons, a bojo was the breathing technique that they taught their students. So I can confidently say apojo is considered as the chief vocal technique to gain breath control in the history of vocal pedagogy. Apojo has been practiced by many famous opera singers and taught by important voice teachers over the last 400 years. Now apparently, apojo is an Italian word. Apojo is from the Italian verb apoggiare, which means to lean. If you have sung in a high school choir or have been around singing enough, you probably heard pretty often from your choir or voice teachers that you should support when singing. For many years, um, apojo has been misunderstood by many voice teachers and students, calling the breath management as support instead of apojo or leaning is one good example. Support and leaning imply different body functions for breath management, okay? So you see, support is an action when we lift a heavy object from below. So when we support, it depresses our ribcage. When we lean upon our body, especially the ribcage is more open and flexible. Therefore, leaning allows us to expand the ribcage. I will intentionally use the term apojo or lean on during our lessons for this reason. Then why is apojo such a big deal? Why should we care about this 400 years old Italian breathing technique? Well, you must understand that almost any vocal problem can be solved when breath control is well established. Got it? Let me say it one more time. Almost every vocal technique will be based on how well you do on a pocho. Secondly, breathing for singing is completely different matter from normal everyday breathing. We don't need a training or a learning effort for speaking or yelling, do we? However, breathing for singing must be learned and practiced for some time before it is mastered. Here are the reasons why breathing for singing is different. People breathe whenever they run out of air. For singing though, um, breathing happens at a particular place where the composer set up in the music. Singers should also last until the end of the phrase. And in many cases, each musical phrase varies in length. In addition, breathing spots show up rather sporadically throughout a song you following me so far? The more advanced the repertoire is, the more variously phrases and breathing spots happen in a song. 
So in order to sing smoothly without facing difficulties in breathing, the proper breathing technique must be learned because you need different amount of air with different timing for inhalation. Is my point taken yet? As I briefly explained before, Apojo is not merely talking about breath management. It also involves phonation and resonance. Simply put, singers should take a good breath and then use that air efficiently and evenly to sustain beautiful tone for different length phrases. This is pretty similar to a balloon. All right, let's say that I want to let out of air from a balloon steadily and keeping the shape without popping or flatting it. First, I would have to begin with blowing sufficient air into the balloon. And once air is in, I have to hold the mouth of the balloon so the air does not escape too quickly. That way, I can control the stream of air as letting out air from the balloon. If I want to increase the air pressure out of the balloon, then I can push the bottom. But even so, I still have to control the mouth of balloon. But if I close the mouth completely, then I would not have any air coming out. The balloon will pop immediately with a needle. This means even a little peck of needle could damage maintaining the shape, <laughs> right? A bojo is like a balloon. You have to take sufficient air into lungs. Not only you maintain the diaphragm low and the rib cage expanded, but you must also control the emission of air through the vocal cords. If there are too many packs of cons consonants, you will easily lose the bojo position. It's like needle. Here, can you see it? So as you can see, a bojo includes breath management and resonance together. There are some misunderstanding about the diaphragm. Let's talk about it. Opposite to the myth about lowering the diaphragm, in fact, the diaphragm is an involuntary muscle, which means we can't move the diaphragm. As much as we know the diaphragm must stay low for our bojo, we have no control over the diaphragm. One way we can find out if the diaphragm is lowering is the outward bulge of stomach region. To maintain the diaphragm lowering while singing, singers must continue expanding the rib cage until each phrase is complete. My old professor, Dr. William McIver, used the mental image of continuing to inhale after the onset of the phrase. Dr. Richard Millard said in his book, breathe as if you are singing, sing as if you are breathing. You heard that? Shirley Emmons explained in her book, drink in your air while singing. So these are all great explanations about maintaining and expanding the rib cage while singing. The idea of continuing to inhale while singing can be also explained as singers should sing on the breath. Instead of separating inhalation and exhalation, Singers must begin the phonation on the action of inhalation. Try to avoid separating inhalation and exhalation by putting a pause or hold. Singers should not begin the phonation on the collapse of the ribcage. If this is the case, singers would experience quick waste of air and excessive air emission. Therefore, Singers will not produce even tones or last until the end of phrase. All right. Okay, so in this video, we learned the tradition and concept of apojo.
The second episode will be a bojo posture and a bojo breathing. Stay tuned for the next episode, okay? You can write any comments or ask questions below. Or you can send me an email at spark at uttyler.edu. Thank you guys for watching this video. I'll see you all in the next episode. Godspeed, everyone.